They may not strike you as extraordinary vegetables, but these potatoes are pioneering survivors that thrived in salty ground. In the first year, we found these results. We didn't tell anybody because we thought we were doing something wrong. Now, it's not possible that we have a potato that can grow so well under salty conditions, while the rest of the world believes that they should be dead already. The experiment was conducted on the agriculturally rich island of Tassel. Locals tell us there are as many sheep as there are humans here. Aryan takes us to the plot where other fruits and vegetables are now being tested for their salt tolerance. It has these beautiful crystals on the, the leaf. It makes it to have a really interesting texture and really interesting taste. The, the taste becomes more sweet rather than more salty. They taste a little bit of salt as well, but it's especially the aromas that, uh, that change. The Netherlands already has a packed potato market. It's the third most common crop in this country. So what's hope for the salt tolerant potato at home? In Holland, I think it's a niche market. And it's not like uh, if you have a big bag, 14 uh, kilo for uh, five euros. Yeah, we can't uh, never uh, make that. Uh, uh, competitive. Sea water covers 70% of the earth. Worldwide, around 250 million people live on salt afflicted soil. So we're on board the ferry that transports people from the island of Tessel in the North Sea back across to the mainland. But the main market for these salt tolerant potatoes may actually lie beyond Dutch shores. Six tons of seed potatoes have just been shipped over to Pakistan. That's the equivalent of 6,000 of these boxes. These images show the salt tolerant potato from the Netherlands being planted in Sindh. Everybody's considering that as uh, yeah, unuseful, uh, unsuitable uh, land for agriculture, but we're trying to prove them wrong. The potential of this salt tolerant potato is already fueling some mouth-watering expectations. Anna Holligan, BBC News, on Tessel.